certain species of which one of the following organisms are well known as cultivators of fungi options are a and b cockroach c crab d spider answer is ants ants are well known as cultivators of fungus inside the nest this leaf cutter ants they carry fresh leaves to feed this fungus and this fungus in turn provides food for the larvae of this ants it's a kind of symbiosis a mutually beneficial association next question consider the following carbon monoxide nitrogen oxide ozone sulfur dioxide excess of which of the above in the environment are causes of acid rain options are a 1 2 and 3 b 2 and 4 only c 4 only d 1 3 and 4 only so in order to answer this question you should know exactly what is an acid rain so this is acid rain oxides of sulfur and nitrogen sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide emitted as a result of human activities and volcanic eruptions or by other natural reasons it reaches the atmosphere this nitric oxide and sulfur dioxide combines with water forming nitric acid and sulfuric acid respectively it comes along with the rain making the rain acidic therefore it is called as acid rain that can cause change in acidity in rivers lakes water bodies etc and also causing many type of destruction within the terrestrial vegetation it's called as acid rain therefore the options this nitrogen oxide and sulfur dioxide is responsible for acid rain this 2 and 4 only is the answer next question which one of the following statements best describes the role of b cells and t cells in human body options are a they protect the body from environmental allergens b they alleviate the body's pain and inflammation c they act as immunosuppressants in the body d they protect the body from the disease caused by pathogens b cells and t cells they are responsible for specific immune defense or it accounts the third line of immunity so this is not the option as it is not a specific defense they alleviate the body's pain it is non specific they act as immunosuppressants they are actually involved in immune response therefore this is also not the option and the final one they protect the body from diseases caused by pathogens and this is the option so b cells and cytotoxic t cells t cells both are involved in mediating humoral immunity where antibodies are synthesized and also cell mediated immunity where infected cells are directly cleared by cytotoxic t cells from the system next question consider the following statements dna barcoding can be a tool to assess the age of plant or animal distinguish among species that look alike three identify this undesirable animal or plant materials in a processed foods which of the following statements are correct options a one only b three only c one and two only d two and three only barcoding just like our fingerprint they are unique codes or sequences that helps us to distinguish a plant or an animal so this is not an option distinguishes among species that look alike this first option this is right identify undesirable animal or plant materials in processed fruit foods so plant dna barcoding is widely used to find out the adulterants in food stuffs also so these are the two options 2 and 3 so dna barcoding these are specific unique sequences that is unique for a spe- species so that we can identify the species also we can find out adult trends in processed foods for more the link is in the description next question which one of the following are nitrogen fixing plants options 1 alfa alfa 2 amaranth 3 chickpea 4 clover 5 parsley and 6 pinac select the correct answer using the code given below here 
nitrogen fixing capacity in the case of plants it's carried out by the members of the family leguminosae legume family so if you know this one is chickpea it belongs to legume alfalfa belongs to legume clover belongs to legume uh, this belongs to amaranthaceae and these three belongs to legumes or leguminous plants so this will any options with these one three and four are the first option is the correct answer in the case of leguminous plants they are having root nodules they form root nodules on the root what actually is this root nodules root nodules are actually site where a symbiotic bacteria which is called as rhizobium it is cultured there by this plant allowing the rhizobium to grow in root nodules this bacteria can convert this nitrogen to ammonia then it is capable of converting this ammonia to to other forms that is available for plants for absorption so that process is called as nitrogen fixing so this is a symbiotic association where the plant produce food and shelter for this rhizobia in turn rhizobia fixes nitrogen and provide nitrogen nutrition for the plant and this is a speciality of leguminous plants that's why this leg the members of legumes are fast growers next question biorock technology is talked about in which one of the following situations options are a restoration of damaged coral reefs b development of building materials using plant residues c identification of areas for exploration or extraction of shale gas d providing salt licks for wild animals in forests and protected or protected areas so this biorock technology is actually meant for restoration of damaged coral reefs so this is the technology uh, these are metal cages this is this metal cages attached to a boy with solar panels that provide electricity this is supposed to charge a negative charge this metal cages is exposed to electric fields so that dissolved calcium carbonate condenses out of sea water and attaches to these cages then divers move divers tied coral fragments to these cages so coral larvae settles onto this calcium carbonate later grows and forms the coral reef just like this so this is a one that is developed as a result of biorock technology coral reefs are also the most diverse ecosystems next question the miyawaki method is well known for the options are a promotion of commercial farming in arid and semi arid areas b development of gardens using genetically modified flora c set creation of mini forests in urban areas and d harvesting wind energy on coastal area and on sea surfaces so we know very well know that this technology is meant for creation of mini forests in urban areas in small plots we can make forests by this method and it is named after japanese botanist akira miyawaki then planting many species together in a small area uh, it draws nutrients from each other and allowing them to grow upwards forming a dense forest within 30 years so many in india this uh, method has been widely used in making miyawaki forests in urban areas next question which of the following is not a bird golden mashir indian nightjar spoonbill and white ibis golden mashir is a large fish so this is not a bird this is golden mashir next question with reference to gucci sometimes mentioned in the news consider the following statements option 1 it's a fungus option 2 it grows in some himalayan forest areas option 3 it is commercially cultivated in the himalayan foot foothills of northeastern india which of the statements given above is correct so here this gucci mushroom gucci is a mushroom therefore it's a fungus so first one is right 
it grows in some Himalayan forest areas. It's also right. It's a special mushroom that grows only on foothills of Himalayas. So one and two. It is commercially cultivated. It cannot be commercially cultivated. Therefore, the C option is the correct answer. So this about this regarding this mushroom. This is the most expensive mushroom, thirty thousand per kg. The reason is it grows only in foothills, only on the foothills of Himalayas, and it cannot be cultivated. So, the only way to get this mushroom is by collection. So that's why this is a very expensive delicacy. Thank you so much. You are with BiologyExamsForYou.com.